Hello guys, welcome to another video. Today, finally, after almost 2,000, maybe 3,000 pickup review videos, I bring you something different. It is also a review, but not for a pickup. Today, we will be taking a look at a pedal from a company I've already reviewed before. This is from a very small brand that I found in AliExpress completely random by looking for, you know, stuff to review and all of that. And I already reviewed their Metal Muff copy, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, today we will be taking a look at the Peak Tone PP24 or the Peak Tone DT01. As you can see, this is a distortion pedal and it is a pretty normal pedal. I'm not a pedal expert, so I don't know if this is an exact copy of anything. If you know, please leave it down below in the comments. But Pigtone labels it as the Englishman, so by that we can deduce it's a more British type of distortion. It has this lovely little guy here on the casing that looks like your average British person. And as you can see, the control knobs are all pretty basic as far as distortion pedals go. We have the level, we have the drive, we have the tone, and we have the presence. And the little guy uh, is not just painted in, it has some, you know, thing going on, it's not just flat on the casing. And as you can see, this has a normal switch, not like a Behringer or Boss tail switch, it has an actual foot switch. It has your pretty normal in and out connectors and also a 9 volt connector so you can connect your little power supply to it. This requires a center negative adapter for anyone wondering and you cannot connect any 9 volt battery to it although with uh, big tune pedals they always include one of those little adapters that is a little cable that you can connect to the pedal and then a 9 volt battery to that cable. So you can really use whatever you want with it. The casing although very cheap it is made of metal it feels like cheap aluminum or some type of alloy. Uh, while it's not the best grade for this price point of the pedal, what can you expect really? It's actually pretty amazing that it came with a metal casing. And it really does feel like a quality pedal. It doesn't feel super hyper mega cheap like those mini pedals that uh, you can find on AliExpress. This actually feels pretty decent, although not the best quality. And you can get this little guy for 27 US dollars with shipping for anywhere in the world. For me it was free I think, but for you it can vary depending on where you live and what shipping method you uh, choose in Aliexpress. But yeah, those are pretty much all of the specs, so let's go into the demo. For this demo I will be using my Devotion Stratocaster which has a Dunlis Mini JB Jr. Uh, copy in bridge and two Bellcat Alnico 5 single coils in the middle and neck position. I will be using my trusty little uh, Yo-Yo Bantam Zombie and as a boost because we will be boosting this little guy I will be using my Yo-Yo Vintage Overdrive and all of that is going straight into my interface which is going to repair with NAT IR which is using a Mesa Boogie 4x12 IR uh, so yeah let's get into the demo Okay guys, so let's hear the pedal. Uh, I'm connected here to the Yo-Yo Bantam Zombie, as you can see behind uh, the pedal. And this is the clean tone. So let's turn on the pedal.
as you can hear it's very fuzzy so let's up that uh, distortion a little bit to see how much gain this pedal has <laughs> Let's see what happens when we dial the gain a little bit back. It looks like when we dial the gain back we gain a little bit of clarity. This pedal is a little bit dark, so let's brighten that up uh, with the EQ. So first the tone knob. It sounds very bright but it lacks a little bit of mid, so let's dial that a little bit back and see what the pressing snap does. Oh, there we go. Let's dial the tone a little bit back and the gain a little bit up. Oh, that's lovely. With down tuning it gets a little flovier when I struck that V chord. It lacks a little bit of tightness. So I'm gonna turn off the overdrive now and see how that affects it. Very orangey, maybe a bit of late neither.
that sounds fucking amazing in my opinion. Uh, let's tune that up back to standard and see how it does for a little bit of late playing. <laughs> It even sounds very nice for lates and all that. So this is a pretty, pretty versatile pedal. Let's see what happens uh, when you have the overdrive on, but we dial the gain a little bad back off. Sorry. Let's see how that sounds. <laughs> Sounds pretty good. Let's see with the drive on the normal setting and let's lower that tone a little bit so it sounds uh, a bit more darker. As well as the presence a little bit. Yeah, as we can see with the presence on this pedal, it's more like a filter more than need to. I don't know if I'm hearing things that are not, but when we, you know, dime the presence and the tone up, it almost sounds like they add a little bit of distortion, and it sounds a bit like fuzz. <laughs> Let's dime everything but the level, which will be brought down a little bit, so... I don't blow my ears out. Let's hear how that sounds.
Yeah, it pretty much sounds like a fast when you dime everything. So if that's something you want to hear, uh, then yep, that will be uh, everything for this demo. Let's go back for the final opinions. So guys, as you could hear, this is actually not a bad sounding pedal at all. It is not my preferred sound because I prefer more of the, you know, American type distortions, but this is not bad for what it is. Have in mind this thing costs 30 bucks. It doesn't have a Marshall vibe, it's more orange or laney, it's not really that super bright mid heavy Marshall sound, it's more dark, it's way more fuzzy, it has uh, a bit of moth uh, in my opinion. So while I wouldn't really play it because it's not my type of distortion for that type of music like for you know Black Sabbath, Doom Metal, all of that. Uh, it's actually pretty nice. I've had like five or six of these pick two pedals and the build quality is actually pretty nice. Taking into account the price and that when I got them, uh, they were around 15 to 20 bucks. They, you know, increased the price because AliExpress, you know, that's a thing they do. But uh, when I got them, they were all around the 15 to 20 dollar ballpark, so that's pretty nice. So yeah, would I recommend the Pictone PP24? Yes, what I would recommend also is for Pictone to fucking change that thing. PP, really? PP. That's the best thing you came up with, PP. But yeah, it's a pretty nice pedal. If you like that kind of very fuzzy, dark, bass heavy sound, this will be right up your alley. But that will be pretty much everything for today's video. If you like this video, please leave a like down below because that will help me immensely. If you like this video and my other videos, please subscribe. I'm trying to make as much content as my fragile mental state allows me to, but I will be making some uh, in the near future. If you want to buy this specific pedal, the link will be down in the description and you can also buy it through my link. Uh, I get a little bit of money, you get a big nice discount, we both win. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!